Larry Tucker of Metro USA is visiting us at international headquarters today. And uh, Larry represents Metro at the ASTM and serves as a volunteer in a number of committees. Larry, thanks for being here with us today. Um, so I heard that you're working on a new method to determine acidity in crude. Um, so why is this parameter important for the petro industry? Yeah, uh, the method is important for two reasons. First of all, uh, corrosion in refineries causes uh, billions of dollars per year in in uh, repairs that are necessary, and that's not counting the uh, lost opportunity in production and we believe that some of the corrosion, a big contributor is the naphthenic acids, which start out in crude and carry through the process, the refining process. Um, and the ability to measure acidity in crude and in fractions is really important to be able to control the corrosion and control the cost associated with this. So what is the current method that is used to determine acidity? Yeah, the current method is method 664, which was developed originally for the analysis of lubricants, new and used lubricants. Um, the industry applied it to the determination of crude and fractions because um, it was the closest method that perhaps might work, but there are a number of challenges with this method that for the analyst. What are these challenges? Uh, so first of all, there's the solubility challenges. So the titration solvent for method 664 doesn't adequately dissolve all the types of crude, and in particular, heavier residual fractions such as asphalt and some of the vacuum gas oils. And if you have a very waxy paraffinic crude type, um, it doesn't do a very good to dissolving that. And we know that if you don't get the sample dissolved, you don't have the ability to titrate all of the acidity present, which leads to imprecise results. Also, if you don't dissolve the sample properly, the electrode becomes coated. And with the electrode coated, your response is lost. And this creates imprecise results as well. So what is the new method that you're working on and how does it address these challenges? So we developed a new method, which is for, uh, it has a new solvent system. We use a xylene, a xylene isopropyl alcohol solvent, which does a good job of dissolving most of the crude uh, types. We've tested everything from bitumen to heavy residual fractions, uh, and it seems to do a very good job of uh, handling the matrix and making sure that the sample is available to titrate by dissolving it. Uh, and also, we are using our new titratherm technology, which replaces the glass membrane because when you switch to a xylene, the uh, mixture like this, the glass membrane becomes dehydrated much more quickly, creating noisy, difficult to analyze titration curves. Our new titratherm uh, is much faster, the response is, which means we can perform the titrations faster. Uh, it takes about two minutes to do a titration versus seven to eight minutes, mainly because we take away all of the electrode maintenance associated with the pH glass electrode in the potentiometric titration method. So how do we know that this method is actually working well? Oh, well, you know, in the development of this method, um, we've had a number of good industry partners with Marathon Petroleum, Exxon Mobil, um, CanMet, which is a Canadian natural resources group, Alberta Innovates um, and Chevron uh, have worked with us as industry partners to make sure that we uh, have analyzed a number of different types of crudes and all of the fractions, uh, and we have uh, compiled quite a bit of data in the few years we've been working on this method to make sure that it's uh, robust, rugged, and works well for industry. And what is the next step in the development of the method at ASTM? So our next steps in the method development is we just completed an interlaboratory study. And want, now that this is complete, we can take the statistical data uh, and drop it into the method, and we can send the method out for balloting at ASTM. Thank so we hope that the method is completed very shortly and that the ballot process goes very smoothly. Thank you very much for your answers.